Hello everyone, this is Colossius and I am back with another Go video and today's video we are going to start our beginner Go problem series. So what this series is, is basically we're going to go over some Go problems for some brand new players and uh, basically some problems that kind of help you out to learn the basics of like uh, life and death, capturing, and just basic problems in general uh, of things you can see in Go. So this uh, playlist is pretty much targeted at 30Q and 29Q. So a 30Q being someone who just learned the rules and is about to start playing Go. Uh, maybe they've played a couple of games, but basically it's uh, targeted at a brand new player. Uh, 29Q, there are some problems in here that will be later in the series. Uh, basically it's for some of you who are kind of starting to see captures. Uh, kind of understanding um, how capturing works and you're trying to count liberties. You kind of know the rules, but uh, and maybe you've played a couple games, but you're not, uh, you did, you haven't played, you're, or you're not about to play your first game. You've played a couple games, you kind of have a general idea of how it works, but you're still learning the basics. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started. So basically, this is a kind of a series or kind of a, a problem set that I made. Uh, it's on OGS. I can give you a link in the description below. But uh, pretty much you just play A to continue and we'll get started. All right, so in the first example, we're learning how the liberties work. And basically, so if you know the rules, it's kind of pretty much going over the capture rule. Uh, so in this case, you would have you can see that uh, this stone would have four liberties, one, two, three, four. And now that we know that, we're going to try and count the liberties of this stone. So... In this case, uh, the first few problems will pretty much be the liberty problems, and it will be how many liberties do uh, these stones have. So go ahead and take your guess, and we'll try to go through these with every couple seconds. So if you need to, pause the video and try to guess, but uh, hopefully you can get these within a few seconds. But uh, we can go ahead and proceed. So this one is on the edge, so it has one, two, three right here. So we're gonna say three, one, two, three. This one is in the corner, so this is a, a good special one to remember that in the corner you have you're touching two edges, so you're very low on liberties. So this one actually has two, uh, and then we get our basic stone in the middle of the board, in the middle of nowhere. At by uh, by itself, a stone usually has four liberties, so it's good to remember. And that's basically the basics of how liberties work uh, in different areas of the board. Center is four, edge is three, corner is two. All right, so now we get into touching stones when two stones are connected. So it's two, four, six. All right, and how does it change on the edge? This is four. And remember, at any time, pause these videos, uh, or pause the video and try and figure it out on your own if you need to. All right, and this one actually gets us into empty triangles, which are a little bit tricky with liberties. So the tricky part is actually this liberty right here. Is it one liberty or two liberties? So the reason many beginners can get confused on this being two liberties is actually the lines connected to it. There's two lines right here that are connected to it, but the problem is it only takes one move to fill it. So this is actually one liberty, even though there's two lines connected to it. So this is why empty triangles can be a little bit tricky and difficult to see for many players. They don't realize that this is only one liberty and sometimes you can uh, miss that liberty captured. So in this case, it's a two, three, four, five. All right, now it's a similar situation, but in this case, you would have to surround the outside first and then the inside. So how many liberties would it have? And in this case, it's uh, pretty similar. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and this one is going to be with three stones. And this is to show that uh, three stones in a row actually have a good amount of liberties. So this is three, six, seven, eight. And this is to show that three stones in an empty triangle formation actually have less liberties. And that is because of this being one liberty instead of two. So this actually has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it actually has one liberty then the three in a row. So this is kind of to show that uh, empty triangles don't really have good liberties or good eyes. So uh, empty triangles are considered a little bit bad shape when trying to gain liberties. All right, so now we're getting into more and more stones. So this uh, is starting to get to, can you accurately see all the liberties on a large number of stones? And that's what this exercise is for. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
All right, now we got two empty triangles, so don't get tripped up. Try and count those. One, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, three empty triangles, actually. One, two, three empty triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, got a lot of stones connected. This is going to be 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. All right, we just got three more problems left, I believe. So this one is a kind of a double empty triangle. It's an empty triangle on those three and an empty triangle on those three. So this is really, uh, can be really confusing for many players. So this actually has three lines, but it's still only one liberty. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So now we got that B2 bomber shape. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of a joke um, that you can look up if you want. Um, but basically, B2 bomber is just a joke shape that is apparently quote unquote the strongest shape ever. <laughs> it's kind of just a <laughs> just a joke. Um, but you can Google that if you want. But all right, let's see how many liberties this has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And I believe this is the last uh, liberty problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is seven liberties. So this one kind of combines uh, everything we learned. It's the empty triangles, the connections, the edge, and it kind of combines everything from this lesson, which is counting liberties. Uh, so the reason, um, if you made it to the end of this video, <laughs> I know it can be quite boring if uh, it, it, maybe some of you will think this is way beneath you or something, but this is actually quite important. Uh, I've, I've met many, many beginners who still miss Ataris, e uh, even after playing like 10 games, they still don't see all the liberties. Uh, or so, see how many liberties um, that some groups have. So even like 10 or 20 games later, they still aren't still having trouble seeing liberties. And this is very important. That's why doing these problems and doing these exercises can be quite helpful. Uh, so the point of this is to always know how many liberties your groups have and your stones, uh, how to know if something's connected or not connected, um, and how many and make sure that your um, able to see if you are about to get captured or not about to get captured. Are you safe? Can you ignore it? Do you have to play on it? Do you need more liberties? Are you good on liberties? Uh, so this is really important stuff that many people take for granted. It's very, very basic, but it's extremely important to the point where it needs to become instinctual. Uh, you need to be able to see these liberties at a glance and make sure that you know that you have several liberties or that you're running low on liberties. So this kind of stuff is very basic, but also very, very important for you to master if you want to get really strong at go. So again, uh, this is meant at 30Q to 29Q, basically complete beginners that have just learned the rules. It's just uh, some exercises for you to do. Uh, the next section is going to be capturing, I believe. Uh, in this section, we will discuss capturing stones. Yeah, so the next section is once you can see the liberties, now it's about capturing the stones uh, that are about to be captured. All right, so that will be it for this video. Hopefully you guys found these problems helpful, and hopefully this will be a good playlist for beginners, and hopefully you guys like this series. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.